Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back. Just had a very uh, quick video or a clip of video I want to show you today. Uh, it's very interesting, but we'll react to that. We'll watch it, we'll react to it, and we'll talk about it after like usual. For the consumer price specifically though, do you want to get rid of it? Do you want to pause it? Do you want to stop the hikes? Like, What are you proposing here? For our full plan, we're going to release that plan and we're going to present that to Canadians. So we don't have our full plan laid out, but we have some elements, the principles of our plan. And the principles I want to lay out today were that I find it problematic that the Liberals have set up a divisive system where they're dividing the country. Some people got an advantage very cynically. It was pretty obvious that it was for votes in the Atlantic region. And that's the wrong approach to fighting the climate crisis. It shouldn't be that certain regions get different treatment than other regions. I, I think that's wrong. I also think that, that Pierre Polyev has spent a lot of time making it very clear that Pierre Polyev's approach to have no climate plan, and really his plan is to let big polluters dump toxic waste into our rivers without any regulation. I think so. Pollute our air, pollute the land. I think that is absolutely wrong. So I want to carve out a different path, a new Democrat path, one that acknowledges working people and acknowledges the need for fighting the climate crisis, and that it is going to be working people that bear the brunt of it. So we're starting to chart that course. Hmm. So it sounds like to me, and as the title says in big, <laughs> uh, bright letters, it, it seems like Jagmeet Singh is no longer supporting the carbon tax because he knows how badly it's hurting the average working class, which this clown is pretending that he cares for them. Now, what he said about Pierre Polyev is not just it's ridiculous. I'm not even going to address that. But what he said about Justin Trudeau, about how his policies have been very divisive, and it split Canadians apart, creating arguments that we really shouldn't ha be having, especially when you consider that even though it's been a very mild winter or, or it was a mild winter, in the last bunch of years, it's actually been colder than most of the point in, in uh, planet Earth's history that they, as far as they can go back. So it's not like, you know, it's just, it's just everything's just heating up like crazy. Oh my God, global warming. No, it's fluctuating, which it always does. I'm not saying we can't strive toward green energy. Let's work on it, and then when it's ready, if it ever gets there, then we can start using it. But it's not there yet, so stop making people pay so much more for something that we need. And as Kevin O'Leary said, we have so many natural resources in Canada that we could be selling for profit, more money for the government to put back into Canada. We're not doing it. And I'm sure it's because we're racist if we do or some stupid shit like that. It, I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's crazy what, what Trudeau and the Liberals and this clown who's pro propping up the Liberals are doing. Now, that being said, there's also a bunch of scientists who have been saying that, you know, yes, there's a climate concern, but it's not an emergency and it's not a crisis. There's a lot of debate going on about that. But a lot of those people who are saying it are getting silenced. So let that sink in too, if you're a super climate person. Like, yes, let's work on it, but let's not punish people for using resources that we need. That's stupid. That just hurts people. Not to mention China has, what, 1,200 coal plant, coal fire plants? So we can do all we want with, with our green energy plan. If no one else in the world is, is following along, like potentially the United States or India or China or Russia, we're not going to be doing very much, especially considering when we are supporting a war in Ukraine. Now, I maybe I'm crazy, but I don't think war is very good for the environment. Do you? Flying around in a private jet to go on vacation to Torino probably isn't very good for the environment, right? Yeah. So if you want to believe a climate hypocrite, you can go ahead and do that. But I believe in more common sense. And that's what, at least what Pierre Polyev is pretending to do. So, and I've seen a lot of other people make videos or make posts like this, like, oh, is the coalition ending? And does this mean there's an election? Well, I don't think that's going to trigger an election. Apparently, the, you know, there might be some sort of vote in May. I don't know too too much about that. If you do, let me know in the comment section. Um, where apparently, if there's some vote that doesn't go through, it automatically triggers an election or a vote of non-confidence or something like that. But if you guys know uh, roughly what I'm talking about and you want to educate somebody, definitely let me know in the comment section. 
Uh, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. I definitely appreciate you guys uh, watching. I appreciate the support. We're getting closer to that 1,000 subscriber mark. Uh, so again, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this channel. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back shortly with another video. Take care.